The year is 2013, and the place is hundreds of miles above the surface of the Earth. Orbiting high above the planet is the International Space Station, the result of billions of dollars and countless hours of cooperation between various nations. This space station is home to a rotating team of some of the world's smartest men and women. One man is sealed inside a high-tech spacesuit as he floats out amongst the stars doing important work. This is Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano, and he is in serious danger, but not from what you would expect. A modern spacesuit is filled with tons of intricate equipment and cooling technology. Normally, everything works perfectly, but today, a deadly malfunction could cost Luca his life. A broken seal opens, and suddenly liquid starts to fill in his suit. I see these in sweat. No, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Because there is no gravity, the water does not fall. Instead, it floats up, filling his helmet and clinging to his face like a thick sap. The team aboard the station must act quickly, or else Luca Parmitano might just become the first person to drown in space. This is just one of many strange and dangerous events that have taken place in the long history of human spaceflight. Since the launch of Sputnik by the USSR, space travel has seen unexpected and wild incidents. NASA itself has seen so many strange turns of events that have redefined the dangers of space travel. One of the more notable incidents came very early in the institution's life, and they didn't even have to leave Earth for it to happen. The Jet Propulsion Lab, or JPL, is a key part of NASA's operation. The lab is a massive organization filled with some of the smartest and most inventive people to ever pick up a wrench. This is good, considering JPL started as a bunch of nerds who almost blew up a school. Tracing its origins back to 1935, JPL started when several Caltech students began experimenting with a new type of fuel. The first team had an ominous nickname, dubbed the Suicide Squad. This wasn't because they were a ragtag team of mercenaries, but rather because most of their experiments involved highly explosive materials. Their experiments became so dangerous that one incident got them banished from campus altogether. Also known as the Rocket Boys, the group of students attempted to create a new type of jet fuel. Unfortunately, they were doing it in the comfort of their dorm. One thing led to another and a small explosion erupted. A fire broke out and nearly burned down the whole building. The heads of Caltech were angry, but they saw potential in the Rocket Boys' work. There was only one solution. The boys and their experiments were kicked off campus but they were given their very own place in the middle of nowhere. Now today, the old barn where a bunch of nerds tested dangerous fuels has become a massive and high-tech campus where some of the most advanced technology on Earth is created. This is far from the only time NASA had to deal with the surprising. Space travel is a constant series of the unexpected, and sometimes that involves free-floating poop. The Apollo program was the crown jewel of the space program in the mid-20th century. This series of missions was focused on one clear and seemingly impossible goal, to land a man on the moon before the Russians. The final mission before this task was accomplished was Apollo 10. The mission would take them to the edge of the moon landing, with the craft traveling around and orbiting the lunar surface. However, while it was on its way, an unexpected event took place and the astronauts were joined by an unplanned guest. It's a biological fact that everyone poops. However, when far from Earth in a tin can with two other people, you have to be careful about what you do with that poop. There's no way to remove the biological matter from the spacecraft. There is no choice but to store every bowel movement in a sealed plastic bag. One of these bags, however, seemingly failed and the astronauts were greeted with the unexpected sight of a loose poop free-floating around their very expensive and very cramped spacecraft. This event led to what has to be the funniest exchange in NASA's history. Oh, who did it? Who did what? what? Who did it? Give me, it. Give me a little Where did that come from? Give me a napkin quick, there's a turf floating loose. I didn't do it, it ain't one of mine. I, I don't think it's one of mine. Uh, mine was a little more sticky than that. This argument over who the escaped fecal matter could have belonged to seemed jovial enough, but it was still a serious matter. The poop could have easily interfered with the ship's highly sensitive equipment. Fortunately, the astronauts aboard were quick enough in capturing the offending stowaway, 
and they continued on. Poop aside, Apollo 10 was a resounding success and laid the important groundwork for the next mission, Apollo 11, landing on the moon. While traveling to and landing on the moon was dangerous and very serious business, there was still time for some fun and games. Neil Armstrong may be remembered forever as the first human to set foot on the lunar surface, but astronaut Alan Shepard has a few big firsts himself. While he was the first American to ever travel in space, he was also the first person to ever play golf on the moon. This highly specific record was set in 1971, during the Apollo 14 mission. While on the lunar surface, Shepard couldn't help but notice that the moon looked like one of the best fairways he had ever seen. He had brought with him the head of a golf club and a few balls. Attaching a six iron head to a survey tool, he formed a makeshift club and whacked two white balls off into the distance. The story doesn't end there. While you would assume that the moon's low gravity would be an advantage in the distance the balls were hit, they didn't go as far as you would think. As recently as 2021, NASA imaging experts used highly advanced satellite systems to locate Shepard's balls, eh, his golf balls. They found that they had only traveled 24 and 40 yards respectively. Not exactly the long distance drive Shepard was hoping for. Golf balls and a six iron head are only some of the many strange and funny things astronauts have brought with them to space. When calculating things like thrust, vectoring, and fuel load, NASA scientists have to account for every ounce of weight on board. This means that the astronauts have to be very selective about what they bring. That hasn't stopped them from smuggling odd items aboard. In 2015, the International Space Station was fully functioning and playing host to some of the top astronauts from around the world. Italian astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti was on board, fulfilling a lifelong dream of traveling to the stars. You could tell it was important to her because she brought something unexpected. It was an item that undoubtedly influenced her decision to be an astronaut from a young age. She unpacked it, put it on, and snapped a photo that would quickly go viral. Christopher Eddy had smuggled a Starfleet uniform on board. Yes, fulfilling the dream of nerds everywhere, the astronaut was wearing the costume from the long-running Star Trek franchise. Specifically, she was in the same type of uniform worn on screen by female Starship Captain Catherine Janeway. Not only is this far from the strangest thing smuggled on board a space flight, it's not even the strangest thing from Star Trek. The franchise has perhaps had the most influence on real-life space travel out of any fictional property. Astronauts and NASA scientists and engineers are, after all, huge nerds. There even came a time when they found themselves in a position to give something back to the series that inspired them. Actor James Duhon passed away in 2005 at 85 years of age. The Canadian actor was most known for the role of Scotty on the original Star Trek series. There had been a mini tradition of honoring departed Star Trek veterans by taking their ashes into space. Gene Roddenberry himself had his ashes spread in the cosmos. Unfortunately, Duhon's remains kept being delayed from travel by mission control. In 2008, Richard Garriott, a private entrepreneur, was scheduled to travel to the ISS on a 12-day mission. With permission from Duhon's surviving family, Gary had obtained some of the actor's ashes. He then hid them inside a laminated photo of the actor, smuggling them on board the International Space Station. There he hid the card and the ashes under the floor of the station's Columbus module, where it remained after his departure. As far as anyone knows, the ashes are still on board. Now a permanent part of the space station, Duhon would help inspire. Things aren't always fun in games on board the ISS. Returning to the harrowing tale of a man almost drowning in his spacesuit, Luca Permentano was in big trouble when liters of water started filling his helmet. He was outside the station with fellow astronaut Chris Cassidy. Cassidy saw the water filling Luca's helmet. By the time Luca could no longer speak, Cassidy was already frantically calling for assistance. He had to lead the practically blind Parmentano back inside the airlock, where the team quickly removed his helmet. They had to wipe the water from his face just so he could breathe again. An investigation was launched, and it was determined that a cooling tube in the suit had ruptured. The space station leadership was even highly criticized for their failure to take the first signs of water seriously. This suit itself also failed to be properly maintained. All these factors very nearly led to the first man drowning in space. Danger and space travel go hand in hand. 
and things can always go wrong. That is, unless you have some lucky peanuts handy. Back to the early days of the space program and the Ranger missions. This took place in the early 60s and was an attempt to crash a vehicle into the moon, not land, crash. The scientific reason for this mission was to take continuous photos of the descent and then observe the impact site. However, as hard as they tried, NASA couldn't manage to hit the broadside of a whole celestial body. Things got worse and worse as mission after mission failed, costing the organization and the government millions of dollars. Finally, after a long series of failures, they had success. On July 31st, 1964, Ranger 7 successfully crashed into the moon. You may think the difference was made by the dedication and hard work of some of the top minds of the time. But if you asked NASA, they would tell you it was the peanuts. A mission control specialist had gotten snacky during the Ranger 7 mission and brought a bowl of peanuts with him to his station. Somehow the entire mission control team had decided that the peanuts were the lucky item that resulted in a successful mission. And since then, NASA has never been without them. Every major mission since has had a bowl of the legumes brought into mission control and placed reverently on a console. It's a tradition that continues to this day. Space travel is hungry work and NASA needs all the luck they can get. Space flight has long been filled with the unexpected and the unknown, from loose poops to almost drowning. Astronauts have to be prepared for literally everything. Since the invention of the rocket, space flight has seen real danger, but astronauts around the world have faced it with determination, inspiration, professionalism, and even humor. Do you know any other crazy or strange stories from the history of space flight? What do you think of some of these odd tales? Leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos from History Snob. Thanks for watching.